Hey guys, and welcome to day number six of our seven day digital power yoga retreat. You're almost there, we're almost to the end here. So today we're gonna to be doing a power yoga eye of the storm practice, and then we're gonna be doing the pause meditation. The great poet T.S. Eliot says, to be the still point and the turning of the world. You see, there's a dimension of all of us, and this dimension is called the awareness dimension. Many people uh, aren't even aware that this exists, but as we move down this spiritual path, we begin to awaken that we're more than just our body and our thoughts and our emotions and our past and our history. And we begin to access this dimension where we become the still point. And what turns around that still point is the turning of the seasons, the turning of your breath, the turning of weather, the arising and passing away of relationships, people that come and go. All these things are temporary and impermanent. And to be the eye of the storm is to be that calmness, that serenity right in the midst of sometimes intensity, sometimes chaos. And when you access that, you don't get swept up within that current or that turning of the drama. You begin to transcend all that. So in the yoga practice, you'll be focusing on that and you'll feel it in a yoga pose. Sometimes in yoga poses, you feel very intense sensation, right? And it's not always easy. You're exposing tension, you're exposing atrophy within the body. But in those moments of difficulty, in those challenging poses, can you be that still point, not reacting to the pose, not reacting to the sensation, but just watching it, observing it, and being that silent witness. All right, so we're gonna get started now. Make sure that you leave a comment after your practice and let me know how it was. Would love to hear from you. If you haven't already, make sure that you click subscribe and click on that link to get three free amazing classes. All right, I'll see you on the mat. Okay, everybody, good evening, welcome in. Let's go ahead and get started in uh, child's pose. And before we start to uh, build the energy, build the flow, just a little bit of time here to really just slip into the practice. And to integrate into the experience that's already starting to take place. There's a saying in yoga that experience is the greatest guru. Or that experience is the teacher. So the experience that you're having is what is essentially what you want to pay attention to. So with your forehead on the mat and with your hips resting back on the heels of the feet and that spine getting a nice stretch, just see if you can allow yourself to just quiet down the chitter chatter of the mind. Allow yourself to dissolve any unnecessary noise or thoughts. And allow your mind to become more present, more aware, more centered, and more still. The more centered you become, the less likely you are to be thrown out of balance. And as we move through all the poses that we're about to move through, potentially some of those poses will try and challenge your, your balance. It'll try and pull you away from this inner center and being connected to self. But you want to practice moving through all the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs, the challenges, the sweetnesses with that steady mind.
And then also with a, a quality within the breath that we're going to start to hone into now. See if you can start to pull those inhales down a little bit deeper. And see if you can press those exhales out a little bit longer. So you're breathing in about three to four seconds, and then you're also breathing out about three to four seconds as well. And then just see if you can take that breath, smooth it out so you're not holding the breath. And the breath isn't choppy or erratic or unsteady. But your breath just becomes nice and steady, nice and deep. And allow that mind to hone in so much to that rhythm of breath that everything else fades away and disappears. And for the next 90 minutes, you just allow your mind to be one-pointed, to be ekagrata. And if you ever feel like those become compromised, since that is the foundation of the practice, either just ease your way out of the pose or just come back here to child's pose and take those breaks as needed. Child's pose is always here to support you. It's kind of like a safety net to catch you if you need to fall in. So with that breath and that flow and with that mind deep in that yoga zone, Let's just go ahead and start to initiate just a sweet, dynamic, sensuous flow. Go ahead and come all the way up onto your knees, all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position. And then from tabletop pose, lift that left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Take that right arm, extend, and reach it all the way out in front of you. Coming into the very first physically active pose of the class, sunburn. See if you can drive that left hand so strong down into the ground that you create some length, you know, within that left arm. You find a little bit of space within that left shoulder. And then pull both extended limbs out away from each other so you get some freedom across that torso and spine. And then wherever you are, just enjoy one more big inhale, pull it out, lift it all up. And exhale, handy foot down to the mat. And then switch sides. Lift that right leg off the ground parallel. And then take that left arm and radiate it all the way out in front of you. Sunbird on the other side. And just allow the poses to come to you. So, of course, effort is there. Of course, you're trying within the pose. But what would happen if you also just kind of backed off a little bit and you just allow the pose to come to you? So that you balance the effort with the allowance, just allowing the experience, allowing the pose to unfold. One more big inhale, pull it out, lift it all up, and exhale, hand knee foot down to the mat. Step back to plank pose, upper push-up position, and then drive your legs, drive your heels to that back wall. Pull the heart forward and out to that front wall, shoulders right above the wrist. And then firm that belly. So lift the navel up and in towards the front of the spine, activating that core. And then soften your face, especially your jaw. Now take one last inhale, plank pose. And then exhale, lower slowly all the way down onto your belly. Good. Keep the hands as is. Release the tops of the feet. Extend all ten toes to that back wall. And then cobra number one, inhale, gently lift that chest up. And exhale, gently set that chest and chin down. Good, a few more of those. Inhale, rise up, cobra number two. And exhale, chest and chin down, soft and smooth. Good, three more. Inhale, coming up, waking up the back, the spine. And exhale, chest and chin down. Good, inhale up, not too high, not too low. And exhale, chest down, one more to go. Inhale, come up, when you get to the top, hold there. And then draw those inner elbows into your ribs so your elbows aren't flaring out, really hug them in. Pull your heart forward so you lengthen your spine, your torso. Lift that sternum up, roll those shoulders back, notice that neck long. And then how about one last big inhale, cobra. And then down dog on the exhale. 
Curl the toes, lift the hips. Drop that head down low. And come back to that deep, rich, vibrant breath flow. Anytime you notice your mind wandering or drifting off, just bring it back to that mantra of your breath. And see if you can not only keep dropping deeper and deeper into your body, but see if you can also keep dropping deeper and deeper into the ocean of your own mind. Spread those hands out a little bit wider than the shoulders. And then get your second finger, that index finger, pointing straight forward. And the crease of your wrist parallel to the very top of your yoga mat. And then drive evenly through the entire surface of the palm. Drive those palms down. Activate those arms. Let those hips slope up. And as your hips slope up, drive those heels down to the mat. Let the head dangle free. Notice that face soft. And again, you're just staying with that breath for 90 minutes, just existing completely in the power of now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but the experience is happening right here, right now. Now, wherever you are, enjoy one more inhale, stretch back, down dog. And then exhale, lightly walk both feet all the way forward to the top of your yoga mat. Spread your feet out about the width of your hips. And then bring both hands all the way up to your shins, right beneath those kneecaps, coming into a very first halfway up flat back. Good, you guys. Just take a couple moments here, driving those palms into the shins, straightening the elbows and the arms. And then pull your heart out away from your lower back. And keep your neck long, so slightly tuck the chin in, looking straight down. Steady eyes, steady mind, steady breath. And steadiness within your transitions, how you weave in and out of the poses. One more big inhale, pull that heart out a little bit more. And forward fold on the exhale, melt down. Put a little subtle bend in your knees, bring the hands all the way up to your waist. And then grounding through the feet, leading through the heart with a long flat back. On an inhale, rise and fly, both arms all the way up overhead. And then both hands down to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Take a moment, close the eyes, and bring that piercing focus inward inside. And see if you can turn the brain off so you're not thinking so much. And drop into the power, the wisdom, the strength, the grace of the heart. And allow your heart to be the engine that drives you through the practice. Let the heart lead and guide the way. And you'll find that it brings a quality of lightness to the flow. Now let's chant the mantra OM together one time to all dial into the same frequency. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. Slowly open up those eyes like a meditation in motion. Circle both arms all the way up overhead. Inhale, reach above. Forward fold on the exhale. Dive down on that out breath. Flat back inhale, hands down, heart out. And exhale, step back to plank. Lower down, same out breath with control. And then cobra. Inhale, scoop that chest up. And then down dog on the exhale, lift the hips. Good, drop the head. Come back to that breath. And just allow your breath to be the wind current. So you hoist yourselves up, you harness that wind power, and you let the wind, you let the breath do all the work. You're literally like a leaf in the wind. No agendas, no trying to get anywhere. You don't have to make anything happen. You just got to allow it to happen. Let this practice come to you. The degree of your success has a lot to do with the degree of your surrender. How much can I let go and just let the practice come to me? Let's start to find a little bit of a rhythm now and a little bit of a flow. Drive the inner part of your hand right between the thumbs and the indexes. Nice and firm into the mat. Take an inhale. Wind those hips back. 
and exhale, walk or jump soft to the top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, heart pulling out. Forward fold, exhale, head hanging low. Inhale, rise and fly, both arms up. Both hands to prayer position, finding your center. Good, inhale, arms reach up to the sky. If you want to lean back, feel free. Forward fold on that exhale, dive down. Good, flat back, inhale, hands down, heart out. And then exhale, step or jump back and lower down with strength. Cobra, inhale, hit that sweet spot. And then down dog on the exhale, lift those hips up. And then take your thigh bones, draw those thigh bones to that back wall. That'll help you get more traction through that spine. So essentially every pose, we're doing the same thing. You know, we're just looking for space. You're literally reversing the effects of gravity on your body. And as you get more space, that leads to more lightness. And more lightness means more freedom. Good. One inhale, stretch back, down dog. And exhale, walk or float, both feet quietly through. Flat back, inhale, every vertebra pulling out. Forward fold, exhale, dipping in. Inhale, rise and swoop, both arms up above. Both hands to prayer, Anjali, the gesture of offering. Inhale, offer those arms up sky high. Forward fold, exhale, blending the breath, the body, and the mind. Flat back, inhale, heart out. And exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Keep those elbows in, heart forward. And then cobra, inhale till it feels right for you in this moment. And then down dog on the exhale. Mm. Good, you guys. We'll flow through one more round of those. But before we do flow through that last cycle, can you take the right hand, reach it over, and grab the outer edge of your left leg? So you grab your, your knee, your calf, your ankle, coming into a one-armed dog. And we don't hold these kind of poses too long, but we do like to hold them long enough so that you do start to hopefully feel a little challenge. And then you can practice moving through that challenge with grace because we all know life is full of challenges. We move through them on a daily basis. See if you can just move through the struggles, move through the challenges with that steady breath and that steady mind. Now right hand back, top of the mat. Same thing on the other side. Left hand reaches over, grabs the outside, that right leg. And then you just turn and look underneath that right arm, right shoulder. In an inverted twist, you're upside down, you're twisting the spine. Which means you get all those, those muscles that support that spinal column. Good. Left hand back, top of the mat, fingers spread out wide as can be. Take a big inhale, stretch back, last round of these. And then exhale, walk or slingshot both feet through mindfully. Inhale, heart pulling out. Forward fold, exhale, dissolving in. Inhale, rise and reach both arms up to the heavens. Both hands to prayer, bringing it back home. Inhale, circle those arms up with soul. And exhale, forward fold, hang down low. Flat back, inhale, pull that breath down deep as it'll go. And exhale, step or jump back and lower down with my soul. Cobra, inhale till you hit that pitch perfect note. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Those are gone. You can feel it a little bit more warmth, a little bit more openness. Good. You can start to feel some of those juices flowing through the body. In yoga, they call that juice prana. It just means life force. In martial arts, they call it chi. It's the same thing. And we're just here to awaken that life force or that vitality. So by the end of the class, you have it pumping and pulsating through every cell of you. Now from here, lift that right leg off the ground parallel to the floor. And as you lift the right leg parallel to the ground, that just means you're not lifting it up too high. See if you can straighten that right leg as if you're standing on that back right foot. And then flex the back right foot so the right toes are facing straight down. 
and the right heels drive into that back wall. And then level your hips with each other by turning the outer right hip down and lifting the inner right thigh up so both hips are on the same axis, the same plane. Now you're going to maintain what you just cultivated there. Slide forward to plank pose, upper push up. And then chaturanga, lower till you're hovering right above the ground. Press up to plank on the inhale. Three leg dog on the exhale, come back. Lift the right leg up a little more, inhale. And then right foot comes down, downward facing dog. Good, other side, left leg lifts off the ground, parallel. And as you square those hips, see if you can also square your shoulders. Take your outer upper arms and roll those to that back wall. And keep driving the inner part of that hand firm into the mat. And then how's that right foot? Can you drive that right heel strong down to the ground? Now keep that left leg lifted up, slide forward to plank, upper push up, inhale, stoking that fire. Chaturanga, lower down and hover. Press up to plank on the inhale. Three leg dog, come back, exhale. Lift the left leg up a little higher, inhale. And then back to down dog on the exhale. Good, you guys. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And then out through the mouth, let it go. Oh. Good. Just dissolve in tensions, melting stresses away. Inhale, stretch back, down dog. And exhale, walk or jump, both feet forward. Flat back, inhale, heart, pulling out. Forward fold on the exhale, lift the left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Put a little bend in that bottom right knee. And then warrior three, airplane, lift the torso up so your torso is level with that back left leg. If you have the space, spread the arms out wide, otherwise just bring them down by your sides. I wouldn't really recommend reaching them straight out in front of you just because you're not that warm yet. But you're, you're just warm enough, you know, to, to challenge your balance. And the balance really demands your attention and all of your focus. And that focus is just pulling you deeper and deeper into concentration and therefore the meditation. Now one more big inhale. Get light, get free. And then both hands down to the ground, but left leg stays lifted up. Crawl those hands in towards that right foot, right leg. Curl the chin in towards the top of the chest. Let that head go. And then see if you can pull back long through that left leg. And then lift the left leg up moderately. Not so that it feels overwhelming, but also not that it feels underwhelming. You just find a place in between. And then one more inhale. Lift that left leg up a little bit more. Left foot next to right foot. Top of the mat. Flat back inhale, pulling those spinal kinks out. Forward fold on the exhale. Lift the right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. And then a little bend in that bottom left knee as you're ready. Good. Go ahead and lift up Warrior Three airplane balancing pose. You're like an airplane soaring through the sky. And ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Today we will be cruising at an altitude of about six feet. And today we will be going over mountains and valleys and terrain that pretty much cover the whole landscape of your body. We're going to move through poses that challenge that balance, that strength, that flexibility, that stamina, that focus, and your ability to stay calm even when we hit turbulence. One more big inhale, you soar. And then both hands down to the floor. Good. Right leg lifts up a little bit more. And then crawl those hands in towards that left foot, left leg. And just enjoy standing split on the other side. Should feel good. Even though these areas feel tight and feel rigid and maybe blocked up, it should feel good to unblock things. Again, we, we work out those kinks and we get those juices just moving through. That means you become more awake and more alive, more inspired. One more inhale, right leg up a little higher. Right foot next to left foot, top of the mat. Good, flat back, inhale, chest out. Forward fold on the exhale with the feet together. Bend the knees, squat the hips down. 
and then chair pose one inhale lift the arms lift that chest up and then forward fold on the exhale let the head flow down good flat back inhale hands down spine long and exhale step or jump back and lower down strong and calm cobra or upward facing dog inhale and then downward facing dog on the exhale lift the right leg to the sky inhale and then right knee to the belly on the exhale shoulders above the wrist so shift that weight forward and forehead in towards that right knee good right leg drives back inhale and then right foot top of the mat deep as it'll go spin your back left foot flat on the floor and then warrior one inhale reach both arms all the way up overhead good my feet are spread out a good four four and a half feet apart so that's a pretty stable distance and then my right foot slides far enough over to the right that my front right heel lines up with the outer edge of my back left heel good that way you can pull your left hip forward drag your right hip back and get both hips neutral to that front wall then the tailbone softens down to the floor good the chest lifts up but the bottom front ribs soften in the arms reach up as the neck and the shoulders relax down and then finally I spread the fingers wide and I notice right now there's not a muscle in my body that's not being utilized in the pose now one more big inhale reach up both hands behind the back interlace the fingers good inhale lean back lift that heart to the sky and then drop the right shoulder down to your inner right knee right thigh coming into what we call the humble warrior good you guys can you double check that back left foot really drive the outer edge of the left foot firm into the mat as if you had super glue running across the whole back of that left foot lifting up to that inner left arch and then can you breathe that medicine all the way down into that right hip good and then can you feel that strength below you feel that rapport into the floor now from here back up to warrior one inhale both arms coast back up to the sky and then vinyasa on the exhale lower all the way down as you glide with breath good inhale fill those lungs up with oxygen and then down dog on the exhale mm. good everybody it's coming eventually the floodgates of oxygenated blood endorphins and sweat eventually the floodgates are going to be unleashed we're just in the process of trying to leverage those uh those doors open other side left leg to the sky inhale left knee to the belly on the exhale get the weight forward shoulders above the wrist and then inhale draw that left leg back and left foot flows top of the mat back foot flat and then vira bhadrasana one both arms all the way up to the sky good so vira bhadrasana is named after a warrior in yoga mythology called vira bhadra and vira bhadra is summoned by shiva the lord of the yogis and uh, when Virabhadra appears, Virabhadra rises out of the ground, out of the earth. And the first thing you see of Virabhadra are the hands. It's the hands that literally peel the earth apart as this great warrior just rises up. So essentially, you could say the hands are kind of the most important aspect of the pose, but for a lot of people, it's the most neglected bring some energy bring some life into those hands good inhale lean back both hands behind the back interlace inhale pull that heart up get some length and then humble warrior on the other side drop the left shoulder down inner left knee left eye and just breathe into whatever rises good this pose is symbolic of humility because the greatest warriors are the ones that not only embody balance and strength but they also embody gentleness sensitivity humility because it's that being humble that just feeds the strength that much more otherwise the bubble burst the bubble of the ego 
Big inhale, back up, Vera one, inhale, reach those arms up, spread those fingers wide, and exhale, vinyasa, lower down, steady, focus mind. Good, inhale, pump a little juice into that spine, and then downward facing dog, exhale, breathe. Mm. Good, you guys. Now it's time to rock and roll. It's time to amp things up a little bit and take what you just strolled through and turn it into a little bit more of a dynamic flow. Kind of look at it as a dance, you know, the, the, the humble warrior dance. And we're going to keep it moving. So uh, we'll flow through about three rounds of the second warm-up series. And since we keep it moving, it just means that, uh, you know, you generate a little bit more warmth and a little bit more heat. And it's that warmth and that heat that's the fire. That's the element that transforms. So let's just keep invoking a little bit of that yoga transformation. Palms pressing. Take an inhale. Wind those hips back. And exhale. Walk or jump. Top of that mat. Here we go. Flat back. Inhale. Heart pulling out. Forward fold. Exhale. Bend the knees. Squat down. Chair pose. Inhale. Arms up. Biceps back. Forward fold, exhale, cascade of the mat. Flat back, inhale, spine long. And exhale, step or jump back and lower down. Good, inhale, cobra, up dog. And then down dog on the exhale, right leg to the sky, inhale. Right knee to the belly on the exhale. Right leg drives back, inhale. Right foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Both hands behind the back, exhale, interlace. Chest up, inhale, right shoulder down on the exhale, inner right knee. Good, inhale, warrior one, arms up. And then vinyasa on the exhale, lower all the way down, keeping those elbows in. Good, inhale, sweep, back bend. Down dog, exhale. Now left leg up, inhale. Left knee to the core, exhale. Left leg drives back, inhale. Left foot deep, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise with grace. Both hands behind the back, interlace. Inhale, heart up. And exhale, left shoulder dips down low. Good, inhale, back up to warrior one in that flow. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down in that yoga zone. Inhale through every muscle, joint, and bone. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, stretch back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat, keeping it moving. Good, inhale, building that momentum. Forward fold, exhale, squat. Inhale, chair, arms up, fingers spread. Forward fold, exhale, drop in the head. Flat back, inhale, pulling it down. And exhale, step or jump back and lower without collapsing. Good, inhale, sternum up. Down dog, exhale, right leg to the sky, inhale. Right knee to the belly, exhale. Right leg driving back, right foot sticking deep. Good, inhale, rise from lower strength. Hands behind the back, pause. Chest up, inhale. Humble warrior, exhale. Good, inhale, warrior one. Arms reach up like a blade. Vinyasa on the exhale, lower down, face off. Good, inhale, breath leading the way. Down dog, exhale. Now left leg up, inhale. Left knee to the abdominals, exhale. Left leg drives back. Left foot flows deep. Inhale, rise and reach. Both hands behind the back. Chest up, inhale. Left shoulder down low. Exhale till it feels revealing. Good, back up, warrior one. Inhale with purpose. And exhale, vinyasa lower down as we soldier on. Inhale like the warriors moving through the battle. Down dog, exhale, one more round. Inhale, stretch back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Good, inhale, flat back, you got it. Forward fold, exhale, squat. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. 
and exhale back, chaturanga dandasana, breath sounds great, inhale, keep it up, down dog, exhale, little different, right leg up, inhale, right knee to the belly, exhale, right leg drives back, right foot flows deep, good, inhale, warrior one, hold there, spread those arms out wide in the air, good, palms to the sky, little bend in those elbows, See if you can bend the right knee, sit down deep, and pull that chest up tall as can be. Good, they call it prana mudra, the gesture of vitality, because it's your heart that's one of the most vibrant places in the body. See if you can unleash that energy there. Good, now take the left arm, bring it underneath and around the right arm. Wrap and spiral those arms around each other. Now take an inhale, get set. And then exhale, step up onto the front foot. Lift the left leg, left knee up in the air. Good. Take that left leg now. Wrap it right on top of that right leg. And if you want to do a double wrap, hook the left toes behind that right calf. Feel free. Good. Notice you're not holding your breath. Notice you're not constricting your face. Find a focal point. Steady your eyes at that point. Now see if you can pull that left hip back. Pull the left hip back. That's it. Good. And then take the top of your right thigh muscle and then drive that down to the ground to send it down. But pull those elbows up and out and feel the back, feel the shoulder muscles spreading wide apart. Good. Kind of like a boa constrictor wrapped around a tree branch. Give everything a good little squeeze. And ladies, be glad you're not a guy doing this pose because it doesn't feel that good. Good. One last inhale there. Unwrap that left leg. Step the left foot all the way to the back of the mat, but arms still wrapped. Good. Arms still wrapped. Left leg back. Now on the inhale, lean back, elbows to the sky. Right shoulder down to your inner right knee, right thigh. Give it a try. Good. Two more of those. Inhale. Rise up. Elbows up. And exhale. Right shoulder down. Good. One more time. Inhale, bring it up, lean back, and exhale, right shoulder, in or right knee. Get deep in there. Now, warrior one, inhale, and wrap the arms, reach them up, and then vinyasa on the exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Good, big inhale, heart wide. Down dog, exhale, last side, left leg up, inhale. Left knee to the dantian, the kanda, feel that power there. Inhale, draw that power back, and exhale, flow at top of the mat. Inhale, rise to the occasion, hands behind, arms spread out wide, prana mudra. Good, palms to the sky, little bend in that front left knee, left eye. How about a few breaths there? Good, draw your shoulder blades inward, feel your chest muscles spreading outward. And feel yourself opening up to the full-on abundance of this class. Feel yourself opening up to the full-on abundance of this life. I got so much in life to be grateful for. And I also got so much to share from the depths of my heart. Now, right arm underneath and around the left arm. Wrap and spiral. Wrap and spiral. Good. Take an inhale. Get set. And then exhale, step up onto that front left foot. Lift that right leg, right knee up. Find your drishti. That's going to help you find stability. Now, right leg right on top of that left leg. Keep the breath flowing. Even if you're struggling, struggle breathing. Good. Even if you fall, fall calmly. It's not the fall that matters. It's how we respond to the fall. Am I the kind of person that when I fall, I stay down forever and I become a victim? Or can I be the kind of person that just gets up and be an empowered individual to say, okay, that happened. What do I need to learn from that? And how can I keep moving forward? Good. Take a good by inhale there. Unwrap that top right leg. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, deep as can be. Arms still intertwined. Good. Eyes laser-like. Inhale. Lean back. Elbows up. Left shoulder down. Inner left knee. Good. Two more of these. Inhale. Rise up. Lean back. 
and left shoulder down towards your yoga mat. Good. One more time. Inhale. Come up. And exhale. Drop down till you hit that spot. Good. Vira Bhadrasana 1. Inhale. Reach those arms up. Those are done. Vinyasa on the exhale. Lower down strong. Inhale. Pull that Mother's Day air down low. Down dog. Exhale. You made it. Oh. Mmm. Good, you guys. Those warm-ups are now in the rearview mirror. Completely history. Take an inhale. Stretch back. Sink in. And exhale. Walk or jump. Both feet through top of the mat. Flat back. Inhale. Heart pulling out. And forward fold on the exhale. Spread your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Turn the toes out about 45 degrees. And then please take a seat in yoga squat, malasana. If this is hard for you, the wider you spread the feet, the more easy it'll be. Now once you get down into your squat, just bring both hands all the way up to prayer. And see if you can symmetrically bring the bottoms of your hands together. As if the right and the left were two pieces of a puzzle that you're connecting together. And this puzzle that we're bringing together is the puzzle that we call wholeness. So the right and the left is symbolic of male and female, the sun, the moon, fire, water, yin, yang. Close your eyes and in this moment, see if you can feel that vibration of wholeness. So often I feel like I'm not enough. So often that I, I feel like things are missing and that I need all this external stuff to make me complete. In yoga, that's called maya. That's the big illusion. Because everything that I could ever want already exists inside of me. And it exists inside of me right now in this moment. All the love, all the abundance, all the health, all the knowledge, all the creativity, all the love that I could ever want, it's already inside of me. It's not going to come from outside of me. Those things come and go. That's in a constant state of flux. But these qualities that exist within are eternal and everlasting. And the more that I align with that, the more joy I'm going to feel. The more that I disconnect from that, the more sadness and sorrow I'm going to feel. Now from here, slowly open up your eyes. Bring the right hand down to the inner right foot. Slide it out several inches. Take that left arm now. Reach it all the way up to the sky. Bring the left hand around behind your lower back. You could hold it here if you want, or you could even take that right arm. Right around the front side of that right shin, right leg. And come into a full bind, a full wrap. You just do what you can do. The end result doesn't matter because you don't have any control over the end result. But what you do have control over is your effort. So you just focus on your effort. Full effort equals full victory. Do the best that you can do. That's more than enough. Now still breathing deep. Right hand down. Left arm up in the sky. Inhale. And then left hand comes down. Straighten the legs and then fold. Over and down. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Feet spread out about the width of the hips. Good. Reach down, grab your big toes, first two fingers. And then take a big inhale, pull that heart up and out. And then exhale, bend those elbows and pull gently the very top of your head down to the ground. Feel free here to close your eyes as well. Because any time you look inside, it's time well invested. How am I ever really going to know myself if I don't take the time to look within? Good. These poses were actually created so that yogis could sit down and meditate for long periods of time. And through that process, become self-realized. You know, they figure that uh, if they were sitting down and there were aches and pains and knots in the body, that that would just get in the way of what they were trying to do. So they started creating postures to work out the kinks and to untie the knots. 
So ultimately, as good as it is to be long, to be lean, to be strong, to be supple, ultimately, we're going more subtle than that. We're looking for a clear mind. We're looking for an open heart. And we're looking for that connection back into the infinite. Now release those big toes. Bring the hands behind the lower back. Interlace the fingers. Draw those arms towards straight. And as you get into the upper back and the shoulders and the neck, good, just let the weight of the world that's just been clinging in those shoulders, bogging you down, let it go. Let the heaviness go. And let the lightness and the health and the vitality all flow. Mm. One more inhale, sinking in. And exhale, both hands all the way down to the ground. Good. Heel toe the feet all the way together, side by side. And then lift the left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Then balancing on your right foot, right leg. Breathe in deep. Warrior three, airplane. Lift your torso up level with your back left leg. Good. And since we've been here before, let's explore some... Uh, some nuance, some texture within the pose. See if you can bend your right knee on the inhale, floating down to the ground, and then straighten your right knee, floating back up. Good, two more, inhale, bend that bottom right knee, and exhale, straighten the right knee. One more time, inhale, if you fall, fall with grace, and exhale, straighten the right knee, it's only yoga. Take a good by inhale there, Come up to standing on the exhale, and then bring the left foot down on the ground. Some of you didn't look like you enjoyed that very much, but you still made it through. You did what you could do. Good. Now bend the knees, squat the hips down. If you didn't like that, I don't think you'll like this next one that much either, but let's just see if we can move through the likes and the dislikes with the evenness and equanimity, because it happens in life too, right? See if you can shift into your left foot, lift the right foot right off the ground, and then reach down, grab the bottom of your right foot. Now you are balancing on your fresh left leg, so you can be grateful for that. See if you can straighten your right leg straight out in front of you as far as it would like to go. Maybe it doesn't get totally straight, that's fine. You just do what you can do. Good, but see if you can use your hands to pull your chest up and out. So you have less compression in your spine. Pull that chest up and out. Keep pulling that breath down deep and low. And try not to bite your lips off, though. Good. One more inhale there. Right foot on the ground. Both arms up in the air. Chair pose. Both hands to prayer in front of the heart. Backs of the thumbs to the third eye. Inhale as you salute inner wisdom. And then left elbow to the outer right knee, right thigh coming into chair twist good squat those hips down get way back into those glutes those are some strong muscles see if you can level your knees with each other by dragging your left hip and your left knee back so your left knee's not sticking out beyond the right knee good and then vibrantly press that left elbow on that outer right thigh as you turn those right ribs open to the sky Good, you guys. Now lean into that right foot. Lift the left foot off the ground. Step the left foot all the way to the back of the mat as deep as you can. Get deep. Get long so that then you can go deep into that detoxifying twist. Now you're charging back to that left leg. Take the top of that left eye and lift that up to the sky. Good. Top of the left eye ascends up to the sky. Now pull that heart forward and out. If you want to spread the arms out wide, drop the left hand down on the outer right foot. Reach the right arm up. Feel free. But make sure your left arm's on the outside of that right leg. And draw that navel towards that inner right thigh. Good. Give it one last little goodbye squeeze. And then crescent pose. Inhale. Both arms reach up to the sky with joy. Both hands down to the ground. Step the right foot back to plank, pause there. Both feet together, side by side. Roll into the outer edge of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top of the right. Lean into your right hand, right arm. And then reach the left arm up overhead. 
Good. If you want less, it's easy. Just drop your right knee on the ground right underneath your right hip so your right knee's on the floor. Good. If you want more, lift that left leg up a couple of feet in the air. Let it hover up there. If you still want more, bend the left foot in towards your left butt. Grab that left foot with that left hand. And then pull that heart up and out. Good. Pull that breath down low. Your breath is your through line. It's your fuel. Good. Now, wherever you are, left arm up to the sky. Inhale. Left hand to the ground. Exhale. Plank. When you get there, take a good by inhale. And then lower slow on the exhale. Cobra up dog. Inhale. Body surfing with breath. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Woo. Good. Right leg to the sky. Inhale. And then right knee to right elbow on the exhale. Hold it there. Swing the right knee to the left arm. Inhale. And then right knee to the right arm. Exhale. Pause. Two more. Inhale. Swing. And then right arm hold. One more. Inhale. Swing. And then right arm hold. Now right leg to back wall. Inhale. And then right foot top of the mat on the exhale. Back foot spins flat. Warrior two, inhale, cartwheel the arms all the way up. Left arm back, right arm straight out in front of you. Both arms in alignment with each other. Good, back left arm hovering right above that left leg. Right arm hovering right above that right thigh. Spine tall, centered, vertical and straight. Lower body grounding down into the earth. As you feel that quality of rooting, connecting, and centering. Good. Straighten your front. Right knee, right leg. Turn the right foot in parallel to the left foot. And then flick your heels in towards each other. Point your toes out. Bend the knees and squat down into a horse stance. Squat down into a horse stance. Good, you guys. Now from here, you're just going to bring your hands behind the head and the neck. Interlacing the fingers so the elbows flare out. Good. From here, right elbow down to right knee. Inhale, over. And then back up to middle on the exhale. Good. Left elbow, left knee, inhale. And then back up on the exhale. Right elbow down, inhale. And then find center, exhale. Left elbow down, inhale. And then back to neutral, exhale one more round. Inhale to the right. And then exhale, back up. Inhale, left elbow down. Hold there. Drop the left hand down. Enter left foot. Right arm up to the sky. Oh, shit. Good. Now, because you are leaning over to the left, make sure you're not straightening that right leg. Keep bending that right knee. Good. Keep breathing. Notice in those moments of being challenged what happens to the mind. What happens to the breath. Those are the moments where often we become reactive or we want to run away from the experience. What would happen if you breathe and you opened up to the intensity of what you're feeling? What if you surrendered to that? Good. Now back up to middle on the inhale. Bring the arms up overhead on the exhale. Interlace the fingers. Draw those arms towards straight. Take one last inhale. Squat low. Lift up. And exhale. Straighten the legs. Kick the heels out. Arms open out wide. Woo, inhale, lean back, arms wide, and exhale, swan dive all the way down. Good, you guys, this next one's a little tricky to verbally describe. I'll do my best, but you might want to look over here. You're just going to take your back left toes, though, and you're going to angle them to the back wall, and we call it a martial arts stance. So you start bending that left knee. The front right leg straightens. So now you're on your right heel. The right toes are facing straight up to the sky. And if you're lost, just look over here. Good. So you want to feel a, a stretch deep in the inner thighs, deep into the groin. Now, if you feel okay and, you know, you feel like maybe you want a deeper of a stretch, we could offer bringing the hands up to prayer in front of the chest. So you bring the hands up without the hands down. It just becomes a little deeper. And then we could also offer the third variation where you take that front right arm and you reach it right above that front right leg. And then you take your left hand and you just rest it right on your heart. 
And then you bring your gaze at your right thumb now. That's where the drishti's at. So everybody finds their place, and everybody lets the pose work its magic. One more inhale there, and then both hands down to the ground, straddle stretch. Ease out of that, feet parallel, both hands on the ground, the width of the shoulders. Come up onto your fingertips, take an inhale, pull the heart up and out, and then palms flat, elbows bend, chin curls in, head dangles free. And you got a few breaths, like a standing resting pose. No strength required here, no physical strength at least. You're just hanging out, allowing the inner legs and the backs of the legs and all the spinal muscles to lengthen. Good. Now, both hands up to the waist on the inhale. Spine parallel to the ground on the exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, spread the arms out beautifully wide. Turn the right toes forward to the front wall. And then warrior two, bend the right knee right above that right ankle. And track that right knee over towards your second, third toe, the middle part of the foot, so it's not buckling in. But at the same time, it's also not flaring out. And you just stack the, the, the joint, the knee joint, right on top of the ankle joint. Because when your bones are properly aligned, then your muscles, they don't have to work so hard. So you have more energy. You get more stamina. You're able to conserve more, more vitality for other things. Now the lower body stays as is. Flip that right palm up to the sky. And then put your warrior into reverse. Left hand outer left leg. And right arm comes swooping all the way up and back. Good. Keep rolling that right hip underneath and in. Keep bending that right knee deep. And then just pull that bicep, that right bicep, right around that right ear. And then wherever you are, one more inhale. Lean back and back to warrior two on the exhale. Good, you guys. Now your first two fingers on your right hand, can you lift those straight up to the sky? And then your back first two fingers on your left hand, can you point those straight down to the earth? And then can you drive your energy and your focus forward out over that front right knee, right thigh. So it's kind of like warrior two, kung fu style. See if you can just bring some power, bring some um, bring some kung fu into the practice. Like you are the warrior forging your way through the battle. Conquering the fear, conquering the addictions overcoming the things that are holding you back because life is way too short to stay in those endless patterns over and over. Now from here, left arm comes down, reverse circle all the way back, revolve warrior, and then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down on your out breath. Good, inhale, take a huge, massive inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Oh. Congratulations, everybody. You just made it through that side. Now you got to make it through the other side. Inhale, stretch back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of that mat. Inhale, flat back, heart out. Forward fold, exhale. Spread the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Turn the toes out. And then take a seat. Yoga squat. Just coming down. Both hands back to prayer. Palms pressing together. Elbows pressing those knees out. And a lot of times we get a little hunch here in the spine. See if you can drag the hands downward. Lift the chest up skyward. Get less compression. And then bring the left hand down to that inner left foot. Slide it out at a diagonal. Take that right arm, reach it all the way up. Good. Now bring the right hand around behind the lower back. And then if you want to take it into a full bind, a full wrap, just take that left arm, reach it around, grab that right hand. Good. Where do you feel this pose? You feel it everywhere. Ankles, knees, inner thighs, hips, right chest, right shoulder, side of the neck. 
See if you can breathe into everywhere. Let that breath facilitate a nice deep stretch. Good. Left hand down, right arm back up in the air. Inhale. And then right hand down to the ground. Straighten the legs. Fold over and down. Turn the toes in. Feet parallel to each other. Feet about the width of the hips. And then lift the toes off the mat. And then see how deep you can slide both hands underneath the bottoms of the feet. Nice and deep. Once you get those hands slid in there really deep, take a huge inhale. Pull that heart up and out. And then forward fold on the exhale. Long exhale. Carries that torso right on top of those legs. Mm. And you get a stretch for the whole posterior chain. Heels, calves, backs of the knees, hamstrings, glutes, spine, top of the neck, and the base of the skull. Good. Now release the hands from underneath the bottoms of the feet. <clears throat> Heel toe the feet all the way together side by side. And then lift the right leg off the ground parallel to the floor. And then balancing on that left foot, left leg, here we go. Warrior three, airplane on the other side. Now that you're acclimated to the balance, <clears throat> good, bend that left knee, inhale, float down. And then exhale, straighten the left knee, rise up. Inhale, bend that left knee. And then exhale, straighten the left knee. One more time, inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. Take a good by inhale there. And then exhale, rise up, right foot on the ground. <clears throat> Both hands back to prayer. Take a moment, just let that wash and ripple through you. Oh. Good. Take an inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it go. Oh. Good. Bend the knees. Squat the hips down. This time it's going to be easier for a lot of you because your right leg's stronger. Lean into the right foot. Lift the left foot up. And then grab the bottom of the left foot. Keep that breath undulating in and out through the nose. When you're ready, extend. Left leg straight out in front of you. Good. Left heel charging forward. Use your hands to pull that chest up and out. Take the top of your neck, lengthen it slightly forward, neck nice and long. Face off. Good. One more. Good. By inhale. Sayonara. Left foot on the ground. Both arms up. Chair. Ukatasana. Both hands to prayer. Anjali. Backs of thumbs and third eye. Inhale. Salute that inner teacher, the experience. And then right elbow to that outer left knee, left eye. Chair twist on the other side. Parvita Utkatasana. Now each and every exhale, you're just moving deeper and deeper into the twist. It's kind of like an oil rig, just pounding deeper and deeper into the earth. But instead of looking for oil, we're looking for untapped energy supplies inside of you. Or potential inside of you. Potential you don't even know exists there. Potential that can help you manifest your greatest dreams and desires. Now lean into that left foot. Lift that right foot off the ground. Step the right foot all the way to the back of that mat. Good. Drive that right leg back long and strong. Lift the top of that right thigh up. Pull the left hip back. Pull the left femur bone back into that left hip socket. And then take that left hip and hug it into the midline so your left butt isn't swinging out. If you want to spread those arms out wide, last couple of breaths, go ahead. But just honor your boundaries. This isn't about jamming your way into a place you don't belong. This is about respecting what your body's telling you to do. One last little squeeze there. And then crest it. Big inhale. Arms radiate up in the air. Both hands down to the ground. Step the left foot back to plank. Pause there. Both feet together side by side. Roll into the outer edge of that left foot. Stack the right foot on top of that left. Lean into that left hand, left arm. 
and then take that right arm and reach it up. But no, you can always drop the left knee down. But if you bring the knee down, make sure it's underneath the left hip. Like that. Bring it underneath the hip, so not back here. Like that. Yeah, there you go. Good. If you want more, lift that right leg up a couple of feet. Good. You still want more. Bend the right foot in by that right butt. Grab that right foot and find the dosage of medicine that works for you. Too much is toxic. Not enough doesn't do the trick. Just a moderate amount will do fine. Now right arm back up in the air. Inhale gloriously. Right hand down to the ground. Back to play. Take a good by inhale there. And then exhale, lower down, slow. Cobra, up dog, inhale, heart wide. Let that light shine bright. Down dog, on the exhale. Left leg to the air, inhale. The fun continues. Left knee to left tricep, exhale. Left knee to right arm, inhale. Great time to go to the bathroom. Left knee to left arm, exhale. Two more, inhale, swing. Left knee to left arm hold, one more. Inhale, cross, left arm pause. Good, left leg back, inhale. Left foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Cartwheel up to warrior two, right arm back. Left arm straight out in front of you. Oh. This time as you come into warrior two, once you get your form set, can you just close your eyes, bring your gaze inward? Because these poses are just forms, just like a meditation technique is a form, or a mantra is a form, or a religion is a form. Ultimately, all those forms are there, though, to help us tap into the formless. In this moment, right here, right now, see if you can feel the formless, the timeless. The infinite. Mm. Good. Now, slowly open up those eyes. Straighten that left eye. Turn the left foot in parallel to the right foot. And with those arms spread out wide. Good. Flick the heels in. Point the toes out. And then bend the knees and squat down. Horse stance. Bring the hands behind the head and the neck. Interlace those fingers, elbows out wide, about to get frisked. Good. Left elbow down to left knee. Inhale. And then back up on the exhale. Right elbow down. Inhale. And then back up to middle exhale. Inhale. I travel to the left. And exhale. I find center. Good. Inhale. Then I come over to the right. And then exhale. I come back to neutral. One more. Inhale over. And then back up, exhale. Inhale to the right, hold. Drop that right hand down, inner right foot. Lift that left arm straight up in the air. And then just breathe, five breaths there. Good, you guys, it's like George Harrison said, all things must pass. Good, eventually this pose is going to pass. Eventually the discomfort is going to pass. It's only temporary. You just move through it right now as, with grace. Inhale, back up to middle. Good. Both hands to prayer in front of the chest, in front of the heart, Anjali. Now it's time for a little bit of yoga tai chi. Inhale, open out. And exhale, palms together. Inhale, circle those arms up to the sky. And exhale, palms back to prayer. Good. Inhale, open, expand. And exhale, palms together. How are those legs doing? Inhale, circle those arms up. And exhale, back to prayer. One more round, the power of three. Inhale out wide. And exhale, palms together. Some of you look a little angry now. Inhale, circle those arms up. And exhale, both hands to prayer. Take a good by inhale there. And exhale, straighten the legs. Woo, flick those heels out. Spread those arms wide. Take a good inhale, lean back, arms wide. And exhale, swan dive down to the ground. Oh. Good, you guys. Now we're going to come into that martial arts stance. So turn your back right toes to that back wall. Straighten the left leg. So you're balancing on that left heel. 
and the left toes face the sky. And then find your variation, either hands down or hands to prayer, or left arm reaches out above that left leg. Find your variation and just breathe, watching the experience like a hawk. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. This yoga addresses every layer and every dynamic of what constitutes you as a human being. It's athletic, but it's also meditative. One more inhale there. Both hands down to the ground. Straddle stretch, come down the middle. Feet parallel with each other. This time reach the hands out, grab the outer edges of the feet or the legs. Get a good wide grip. And then when you're ready, inhale, pull your heart up and out. And exhale, pull the top of the head down to the ground. Mm. Ah, just focusing on one breath at a time, one moment at a time, one sensation at a time, just existing in the present. That's a powerful place to be. Both hands all the way up to the waist on the inhale. Spine parallel to the floor, exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, spread both arms out, nice and wide. Turn the left toes forward to that front wall. And then Vira Bhadrasana 2, bend that left knee right above the left ankle, left heel. And then find that warrior stance. Now the lower body stays the same. You're just going to flip that left palm up to the sky and then revolve your warrior just by bringing that right hand back on that outer right leg and pulling that left arm up and back just until you feel some amazing length across the whole left side of that torso. Good. Finding that traction. One more big inhale. Just explore that boundary and then back to warrior two. Now front first two fingers up, back first two fingers down. Drive your energy forward out over that front left knee. And make sure those left toes are dead ahead. Good, drive that energy forward. Good, move through the burn. Move through the fire. Move through the fire of focus. Nice, you guys. Last standing pose, right arm comes down. Reverse circle all the way back. Revolve, warrior. And exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And then last, downward facing dog. Exhale. Oh. See if you can get in there and just sink into that warm, vibrant, awake, alive, alert, inspired body. And then wherever you are, one last inhale, stretch back. And then relax both knees down onto the mat. Crawl the knees forward to the top of your yoga mat. Cross the feet behind you. And then release down onto your sit bones. And then extend both legs straight out in front of you, breathing deep. Keep the left leg straight out in front of you. Reach down, grab your right foot, lift that right foot up. And set your right ankle right on top of your left kneecap. And then bend the left foot so it comes underneath your right knee, right thigh. Coming into double seated pigeon. And then one of the keys in this pose is your bottom leg. Make sure that it's not bent far in so your left shin is actually flush with the top of your mat. So you slide the left leg a little bit away from you. You know, once you get your lower body set, and if this isn't happening for your hips, then just come to easy cross-legged with the right leg in front of the left leg. When you're ready, both arms up overhead. Inhale, reach above. And then exhale, fold over and down on the exhale until you find that place. Mm. You 
you know, sometimes people share with me. They say, Travis, you know, I was in that, that one pigeon stretch where we were stretching the hips. And for some reason, I got really, really emotional. What is that all about? Is that common? It is pretty common. And what it's all about is that, you know, we, we move through life. And any time we don't get to fully digest an experience, like it's so intense, it's so fierce, it's so overwhelming, we can barely handle it, that that experience or those, those feelings and those emotions around that experience they literally get lodged and stuck within tissues of our body. And so what the pose and what the asana does is it starts to unlock those tensions. It starts to release that away. So if that's ever your experience, that's actually a good thing because the last thing that you want is that stuff lingering inside of you. It just bogs you down. And being the human beings that we are and moving through all the difficulties that we all got to move through so often, we need a practice like this to continuously just keep releasing, keep releasing, and keep letting go. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up to seated. And then extend both legs straight out in front of you along the ground. Let the blood rush down through the legs, the knees. And then keep the right leg out there in front of you. Grab the left foot. Set the left ankle right on top of that right kneecap. And then bend the right foot underneath the left knee, left eye. Coming into double seated pigeon on the other side. Once you get your lower body set up, take an inhale. Pull those arms up above. And then exhale. Just fold over and down until your body tells you that you've gone far enough. It's the foundation for any healthy relationship, communication, and then listening. There's no question. Our bodies communicate, and it's speaking to us every moment of our existence through sensation. The thing that we need to evaluate is, are we listening? And not just when we're doing these poses, but when we're making decisions within life. Like when we're eating a meal and knowing when to stop eating instead of overeating. Or when we're trying to consider whether we should go out and stay up all night or stay in and rest and recharge, replenish. Or when we choose people that we want to be around, friends, significant others. Are they uplifting us or are they bringing us down? Because we know, we know within our hearts, we know within our guts, we know what the right thing is for us if we connect back in. Easily come all the way back up to seated and then extend both legs straight out in front of you, lawn the mat. And then with both legs straight out in front of you, take both arms, reach them up overhead, inhale. And then forward fold on the exhale, Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. So your hands reach down and they grab what they can get. And you still keep pulling each inhale down to the bottoms of the lungs. And then you bring a little extra emphasis to your exhale because you are in a forward bend and the exhales go really well with these postures. Because the exhales are where you're creating space. That's where you're creating length. So if you can get those exhales really long, the breath will do all the work. And before you know it, you start opening up to whole new degrees of flexibility and suppleness. Which happens to be the fountain of youth. Because as long as the channels are open and the energy is flowing, our body can maintain homeostasis and balance. Now ease your way all the way back up to seated. And then release all the way down onto your back. All the way down onto your mat. And as you get down onto your mat, just reach down, grab the shins. 
And then hug and squeeze the knees and the thighs into the belly, into the torso. Good. And then keeping that right knee hugged in, just extend the left leg straight out in front of you. And then lift the right leg straight up to the sky. Good. Now take both arms, reach them straight out in front of you to that front wall, about a foot off the ground. Palms face each other. Good. Lift the left leg off the ground about a couple of inches. And then just start lifting the chest and lifting the head up. And then just start reaching those arms forward so it's, it's as if you're trying to touch your left foot, left toes. Good. And then you're using the abdominals. I think they call them the transverse abdominals, the deep abdominal tissue. You're using those tissues to lift your chest and to lift your head up. Good. Now reach both arms straight up to the sky. And then bring both arms to the outside of your right leg. Both arms to the outside of your right leg. Good. Just breathe in deep and breathe in free. Good. Now bring both arms back over your head. And then switch legs. Right leg up. Good. Left leg comes down. Left leg up. Right leg down. Good. Now bring both arms to the outside of that left leg. Good. And just reach those arms out. Keep that breath and that flow. Good. Now bring both arms up in the air. And then bring the right leg up to join the left leg. And then reach both arms forward to the front wall. And then hold there last five. Good. Chest up four. Legs straight up for three. Good. Arms reach it out for two. Now give that one last goodbye reach. And then exhale lower all the way down. Oh. Mmm. Reach down, grab the shins, hug and squeeze the knees deep in. Take a nice, big, deep inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it go. Mm. Good. Slide the hands down the legs. Grab the outer edges of the feet. And then lift the bottoms, the soles of the feet up to the sky. Coming into happy baby. Spread those knees out a little bit wider than the ribs. And then just pull those thighs down, sinking deep, deep into those hips. And then if you feel like you want to rock your baby side to side, sometimes that feels really, really nice. And then reach over there, grab your big toes, first two fingers, spread those legs out, straddle style towards the outer edges of the space, heels out, toes down, and the whole innards of the legs, just lengthening. Good. Both legs together, side by side. Inhale. And then softly rock the legs all the way up over your head to the back wall as you exhale. Coming into plow pose. And then both hands to the lower back for support. Lightly float both legs all the way up to the sky. Coming into shoulder stand, sarvang, asana. Just letting all those good juices come spilling down. And then one more inhale, stretch up through the feet, through the toes. And then plow pose, let the legs drift all the way up over your head. And extend both arms straight out in front of you, along the mat. And then use your arms here to slowly roll out through every single vertebra of your spine until you feel 
your lower back touch down on the mat. Just uncoil that spine. And then reach down, grab the shins, hug and squeeze both knees into your belly. And then keep that right knee hugged in, extend that left leg straight out in front of you, long on the mat. And then open your right arm all the way over to the right. Bring your gaze out across that right arm. And then just let that right knee gently fall all the way over to the left, coming into a bent knee reclining spinal twist. And then right knee all the way back up to the midline. Hug and squeeze that right knee, right thigh back into the belly. And then switch sides. Left knee in, right leg out. Left arm opens out to the left. And then just let the left knee gently twist all the way over to the right. Good. Left knee all the way back up to center. Squeeze the left eye back in. And then hug and squeeze both left and right knee into the belly. And then finally on a big inhale, curl the forehead up to both knees. Give everything one last big hug and squeeze. And exhale, shavasana, release and relax all the way down onto your back.
body from here slowly, easily, easily. Just start to slip back in. After having allowed that to be assimilated and assimilated, synthesized deep into you, just bring it all with you. And reach the arms all the way up over your head to that back wall. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms inside out. And as you stretch back through your arms, stretch the feet, the toes forward. And just enjoy a nice, good, full body stretch. And then reach down. Grab the shins. Hug and squeeze the knees and the thighs into your belly, into your torso. And then from here, gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final cross-legged seated position where we'll seal, seal the practice. Welcome to the pause meditation. This meditation allows you to discover calmness even in the midst of a busy or hectic day. Please find your seat, get settled, allow your hands to rest on your knees. You could turn your palms up or you could turn the palms down or you could even rest both hands in your lap, wherever it feels right for you. As you continue to find your seat, allow yourself to sit upright, but at the same time, allow yourself to be relaxed and to be at ease. Feel your shoulders soft. Feel your neck long. Feel your jaw disengaged. Allow your face to relax. And allow your mind to begin to relax as well. And then from here, just take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. A couple more like that. Take another deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth, just let it go. Once more, big inhale. And then side out the mouth, exhale, let it go. And then just allow your breath to just move in its own natural, effortless rhythm. What we sometimes call the autopilot breath. It's moving at its own natural rhythm. as you continue to find your seat and to develop presence, you begin to access what the great poet T.S. Eliot described as the still point in the turning of the world. So here you are right now in the midst of all the activities of the day, just taking a little bit of time to press that pause button to become that still point in the turning of day and night, in the turning of the seasons, the turning of the thoughts, sounds, feelings. Just taking your seat right here, right now, halfway 
between heaven and earth. You can give yourself the permission to shift gears, to shift from doing into being, to shift from striving into arriving. and to shift from being in fast forward motion into just pressing that pause button, allowing any unwanted tension, stress, worry, anxiety to fade away and dissolve. As the great Zen poet Thich Nhat Hanh says, your true home is in the here and now. Feel yourself opening up the scope of your awareness to all that's unfolding right here, right now. Allowing both past and future to go out of focus. Can you be at home right now within your body? Can you be at home right now with this breath? This breath right here, right now. And then this breath. And then this breath. Allow your nervous system the gift of just taking a break. Anytime you press this pause button, it's like you're giving yourself a well-deserved vacation or a little mini retreat. Perhaps you can feel your mind becoming still like a lake on a windless day. Less choppy and more serene. In that serenity, just allow your attention to rest gently and easily with that natural movement of your breath. Feel the natural inhales, followed by the natural exhales. It's not necessary to change the breath at all, but to just let the breath again, just be in that natural effortless rhythm. As you meditate on the rise and the fall of the breath, take some time to just be with the expansion to be with the contraction.
then from here see if you can begin to notice the pause at the top of the inhale before the exhale it might be for a second or two but start to explore that brief pause before the inhale transforms into the exhale as you continue to explore that pause at the top of the inhale notice how the waves of the mind become still the breath becomes still for a moment and the mind also becomes still as well Then also begin to bring your attention to the pause of the breath at the end of the exhale before the next inhale begins. And again, this just might be a moment or two, but to just allow your mind to experience that deep undercurrent of peace within those moments of the breath pausing. Continuing to meditate on these four parts of the breath. The inhale, the pause, the exhale, and another pause. Take a few minutes now on your own to just continue to follow and watch closely these four parts of the breath. If you notice at any point your mind wandering away, you start thinking about other things outside of your meditation practice, just gently release the distraction, release that thought, and with compassion, with kindness, with grace, just bring your attention back to those four parts of the breath, bringing extra special attention to those pauses, those little windows of stillness, a pause, helping you tap into a part of yourself that's calm, peaceful, 
and incredibly serene. From here, nice and easily, just gently release the breath. And we'll take a last minute or two here to just savor, savor the stillness, the kind of stillness that restores and renews in the deepest of ways. Beautiful. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And a big exhale out the mouth. Just let it go. And then now you can bring the serenity with you into the rest of your day. And at any point that you might feel overstressed, overworked, or overwhelmed. Just know that you always have the power to press pause and to come back to this deep quality of calm. A last closing prayer. May we bring strength where there is weakness. May we bring courage where there is fear. May we bring compassion where there is suffering. And may we bring light where there is darkness. May we be ultimate. As you're ready, slowly open up your eyes.